Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri. Today's video is all about our Ipsy Glam Bag X for the month of May. Alright beauties, before we dive in, please don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like what to see, subscribe down below if you have not yet, and turn on your little bell notification right down there so that you'll be notified of future videos, which are typically Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you are unfamiliar with the Ipsy Glam Bag X, this is a seasonal subscription box or a quarterly subscription box that is $55. You're guaranteed $300 worth of product and you're supposed to get six to eight full-size products um, and they can range from hair, beauty, etc. Um, this month I'm pretty sure the collab was with Chloe. You guys know I do not get any spoilers. So yeah, my apologies on that, but I'm pretty sure it was with Chloe Kardashian this time around. So I'm going to open the box and we're going to dive in. It is packaged pretty well. I will hold it up. Oh, I already see some good stuff. So, all right, cool. So we're gonna dive in. You do each time get a pamphlet. Um, I'm pretty sure this is only their second box of the Glam Bag X, um, but this will kind of tell you everything you could have gotten. So this was with Khloe Kardashian again, and it's gonna tell you about all the products, things like that. So we'll put that to the side for now. Um, first up, something I actually already have and I use quite frequently is the Rodeo or Rodial, the Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. I already have one and I keep it right here in my everyday drawer. So I really do like this. I can tell you it's kind of a little, a little too slippy for me, um, but it does work well. It smells nice, things like that. I'm so excited to have it in my box. Next up, I see a 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. Shake well before use, mix one to two drops into the palm of your hand with your favorite moisturizer or apply directly to clean skin. Okay, so that's cool. And I do know that 111 Skin is a quite uh, pricey, expensive as hell brand. So excited to have this. Um, I'm kind of sensing a theme though, just like with my uh, Ipsy, I'm not getting a lot of makeup. I don't personally mind that all the time, but this is not very makeup heavy thus far. Um, next up is an Olaplex Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment, the number zero, primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects all hair types. I love Olaplex. Um, clearly your girl just chopped all of her hair off, so I'm not necessarily gonna need this right now, but we'll save it. <laughs> Um, but when I did have long hair, it definitely does work. It definitely, I do feel like helps. So I'm excited to have that. Next up, our first, our first makeup item. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen. Why did I not know they had in blonde? Really? Ipsy. Come here, come here, girl. Ipsy. Do I look like a blonde? Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not going to work for me, and I don't really want to open it into the air. I may go online and look at swatches. Um, okay, well, I like brow pens. Y'all know I'm obsessed with my Urban Decay one, and the NYX one is really nice as well, but um, we're probably going to have to pass this along. I'll look up swatches online and see. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mad, though. It's okay. It's okay. Next up, oh, I've always wanted to try them. This is the Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Coconut. Ooh, I'm excited. I have heard you guys that these are incredible. So I'm excited to try this. Oh, that's a, a little pink. It's a little pinker than I usually go. Um, Milky Lip Jelly. Maybe it's not going to be super pigmented, so we're going to try it. I don't really smell maybe the lightest scent of coconut, possibly. Um, I do not like the little doe foot applicators like this, um, although they do put a lot of products on them, but I like the ones that kind of hug the lips. Oh, that is quite slippy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely more of a tint. Good. I actually like the shade. As you can see, it's definitely not what you see on here. Yeah, I don't feel any stickiness or anything like that. The shine's really pretty. We'll see if I get the weird little, you know, nasty butthole lip thing going on by the end of the video. Um, so excited to have that. Next up is a, I don't like this product. Um, <laughs> Pores No More, uh, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask. 
Um, I will not use this kind of stuff. I have extremely dry skin. So any type of charcoal masks, clay masks, things like that, um, they're a little too much for me. So even though this is a great brand, I've loved everything I've ever tried from Dr. Brandt. I am also going to pass this on along. Um, but it's a pretty good box overall. It has something for our hair, something for our skin, um, a makeup remover, a couple makeup products so far. All right, next up is... Oh, nice. Asology Overnight Lip Mask. Exfoliating, hydrating, and smoothing. Y'all know I'm obsessed, obsessed with lip treatments, lip balms, scrubbers, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know if it's a some type of a shade or a scent. I don't see that on here. Uh, let's open it and see what it is. <laughs> oh, wow. That is the biggest lip treatment I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, apply a generous amount to the lips prior to sleeping. Um, upon awakening, wipe with a damp cotton pad to remove. Um, yeah, I don't see anything as far as like scent or anything like that on here, you guys, but we'll read about it. I'm really excited to have it though. I love stuff like this. Love. And then last, I'm pretty sure this is the last thing. Yes. Last but certainly not least, darlings, we have the Patrick Star. One size visionary palette. I'm actually really intrigued, really excited. I'm going to go ahead and say just our very first, first impression. It feels quite heavy. So I do at least want to open it up and let's see what it looks like. And I love Patrick Star, so I'm super excited to have it and try it out. That is so cool. This packaging, though, it drives me nuts. I do not like shit that's, like, off-kilter, so to speak. Um, and I'm trying to see if they're cruelty-free. I could have sworn that he was, but I'm not seeing it on here. I will find out. I'll put it right here for those who would like to know. So I'm going to open it up and check it out. It's overall just a neutral palette with a little pop of blue. The mirror is quite nice. Oh, hey, hey girl. Um, so as you can see, just a pretty neutral palette. You have a couple pops of color in there and then a good blend, I feel like, of shimmers to mattes. So we'll do a super quick look. Um, and you guys know I don't actually do a look per se when I'm testing things. Um, I'm just going to throw a couple colors, see if they blend well, see if the color in the pan is the color that goes onto my lids. Um, and then we will discuss pricing and stuff like that. And then I will tell you guys goodbye. So I think first I'm going to go into... I want to go a little warmer, so I'm going to go in Suede Charm right here. Um, and I'm not going to do, with this being such an old palette, um, I'm not going to do swatches or anything like that. Again, this is just more about me letting you know what I got in my box and letting you know if I feel like the value was there. I do have my ABH Eye Primer on, primer on prior to filming. Okay, I really like this color a lot. I do have a lot of pink and yellow on my eyes right now from um, my look with my Morphe palette that I did, so I'm sorry about that. But again, kind of my first impression of a palette, especially with a palette, I just want to see, am I getting a level of pigmentation? And I feel like I am. That's, you know, the same for, that's the same here as it is here. Um, it's quite soft. I don't feel like it's dusting away or anything like that. I'm getting just the smallest amount of kickback in the actual palette, in the actual palette, but not a lot. Uh, I'm going to go next into Booked, and I'm going to stay in this exact same brush. Again, next to No Fallout. Oh, that's way darker than I thought it was going to be. That's actually looking a little darker. <sighs> but I like it. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, my, you know, I just like to try to see, are they blending well together? Do they get muddy? Um, is there a lot of fallout? Things like that. So again, just super simple. Um, I think I'm actually going to go into the black as well. And that is Turban Legend. That's cute. Turban Legend. Uh, and I'm going to keep that very, very low. The black is quite pigmented as well. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, is it the most exciting palette in the entire world? No, it's not. Um, but do I mind that? And does it always have to be, you know, this extravagant type of palette? No. I'm going to go into everything right here. I do want to at least swatch this one to show it to y'all. They feel quite soft. Like you can see as I'm pushing into it, it's definitely leaving like a little divot in here. So sometimes these types can be a little bit flaky or a little bit kind of crumbly on the lid. So we'll see. And I'm just going to use my finger. Oh, that is really pretty. It is crumbly and it is giving me some fallout. So, I mean, I kind of expected that based on the texture of it. 
that doesn't bother me i like to note that for you guys oh wow very pretty nonetheless though huh okay well i'm gonna do this eye really really quickly and then we'll come back and talk pricing and stuff all right beauties we are back i really like that shimmer um even though it does leave quite a bit of fallout on the face um that part of it sucks but you can always do your eyes first and or wet the brush but i think it looks really pretty i mean is it revolutionary no but is it a pretty palette is it and did it perform well of course so here is all of the pricing for all of our goodies so let's dive in so first up we have the aceology overnight lip mask this overnight oil infused lip balm is the ultimate beauty sleep essential that nourishes while you snooze and it is $39 so literally almost the price of the entire box I kind of wish it said a little bit more I don't see anything about like the flavor the scent nothing unless it literally just does not have a scent at all so I will update you guys on this I'm actually really excited to try this um, and they are cruelty free just in case anybody wanted to know next up is our Olaplex the Olaplex number no. zero intensive bond building treatment beloved by hair pros this at-home treatment rebuilds broken bonds to give strands their strength and that is $28. Next up, we have our 111 Skin Rose Gold Radiance Booster. This is Chloe's secret weapon for skin that looks lit from within. It contains rose water and niacinamide to brighten skin, hydrating hyaluronic acid to plump, and light reflecting gold to instantly illuminate your complexion. Um, and that is $135. This thing better slap me on my ass and call me pretty, honey, okay? Uh, so that's that's expensive and definitely worth the price of the package as well. Next up, we have our Rhode Isle or Rodeal Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm. Cleansing balms at night are an absolute must for heavy makeup. I 100% agree. This one, this one easily dissolves your glam with a luxe melting formula. Plus, it's infused with vitamin E, sweet almond oil, and rice germ oil to nourish while you cleanse. And this is $59 freaking dollars. I did not realize it was this much. Um, I'm pretty sure what other one I got, I also got like with the Ipsy or something like that. Um, that's expensive. Next up is our one size palette. Um, the Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. Whatever look you want, this palette has got you covered. It is filled with influencer Patrick Starr's favorite shades, from cobalt to rose gold, and Chloe happens to love them all, too. And this is $42. Next up is our Tower 28 product. This is the Shine On Milky Lip Jelly. This vegan, cruelty-free, and derm-tested gloss is made with plant-based ingredients, like apricot oil and raspberry seed oil, to nourish dry lips and give them a glossy finish without feeling sticky. I agree. It doesn't feel sticky or anything like that, but even just in the few minutes that I've been talking, like 15-ish minutes, 12 minutes maybe, um, I don't see a whole lot of gloss, although it does still feel nourishing and feels hydrating. Um, and these are $14. Next up is our Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in Blonde. <laughs> Bold brows are a Chloe signature, and this pen makes it easy. The super fine tip helps, helps to create realistic looking brow hairs, so you can add detail definition and dimension to your arches and this is $22 and I'm actually not seeing the pores no more vacuum cleaner um I don't know if it wasn't supposed to be in here again I don't get spoilers so I'm gonna go check my email and stuff as well um and then I'll show you just a couple of things to let you know um, some other products we could have gotten and some other products that we could have gotten were the Ola Hendrickson banana bright eye cream um, the Banana Bright Face Primer. I would have liked to try that. Um, the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek in Demure. Um, you could have gotten an ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. You could have got the Kosas um, Mascara in Intense Black. So, yeah, I mean, I think I like to have, I feel like they have a pretty good blend of hair, makeup, you know, skin, beauty, things like that. So, I'm super excited. I will, of course, add everything up and pop it up right here for uh, you guys. And of course, I will update you guys as well. Um, I'm definitely going to try this. I'll try it tonight. Um, we'll see how this works. Um, overall, definitely exciting. Um, and I'm overall happy. I do like that the... the I do like that it seems pretty cohesive in regard to, you know, something for your brows and eyeshadow, something for your skin, something for your hair. So I think it was a well curated box. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.